Welcome back to Investor Intel at PDAC 2018. I'm joined today by Ken McLeod from Sonora Metals Corp. Ken, you know, when I think of Sonora, I certainly think of Mexico. I know you've got an Alaskan asset as well, but is Mexico where the focus is going to be? Absolutely, Jeff. The focus uh, is 99% on Mexico. And the reason for that is they, the projects are well positioned and they are far enough advanced now that we can start to talk about potential resource and they are in areas where we can uh, drill very quickly and very cheaply. And they, the projects uh, are in, uh, in northern Sonora State, which is uh, a very, very safe area to operate in. Uh, there is no issues with security in that particular area. We're in ranch lands, and, uh, and security is extremely tight in that part of the world. So the project that you, the first main project that you've got there, from my understanding, is a, a big project and has the potential for leaching or heap leach, correct? Yes. In fact, both projects are heap leachable. They are in um, uh, the first project is the San Marcial project, which is 20 kilometers east of uh, the San Francisco mine, which is operated by Alio Gold, and a similar kind of geology, uh, and it's a uh, thousand hectares. Currently expanding it to probably uh, 1,800 hectares or so. And it's been uh, a subject of our exploration for the past uh, three years. We've developed a mineralized zone over five kilometers in length, two kilometers wide, now ready to drill. And the, this sampling that we've done to date suggests uh, an oxide zone, uh, open pitable, heap leachable, and uh, with a plus or minus one gram of a grade, and so it's a, it's a very, very attractive project for us. There was some drilling done by Barrick and, uh, and Queenstake back in the early 1990s, but it was very shallow drilling, air track drilling, and it demonstrated uh, mineralization down to the 30, 40 meters that they drilled. So we're satisfied that San Marcial has potential for a large scale disseminated type deposit of in the order of one gram per, per ton somewhere in that order. The second project is uh, 30 kilometers to the east of San Marcial, and that project uh, is just recently acquired over the past month, the right. Cerro Caliche project. And this particular project was a subject of extensive drilling, 10,000 meters of drilling by Corex Gold back in 2008. Well, that sort of stuff takes money. Are you going to be in the market financing right away? or? Uh, well, we were, we were fortunate. Uh, we sold the Chipriona property right next to the La India mine to Agnico Eagle a year ago, and that filled up the treasury, and we brought in $4 million of cash, and uh, they have a royalty to, um, which they have an option to acquire for $1.5 million. And so the company is well funded at this time. Uh, obviously at some point in the next 12 months to 18 months, as we continue with the drilling program, we should be looking to uh, secure additional capital as well. And so the latter part of the year, I would estimate that we should be looking for financing. Well, that's great. Uh what sort of things should investors be looking for in the short term as catalyst for the stock? The catalyst is it's a, it's a tightly held company, so it is, if you, it's 24.7 million shares. The insiders control 30% of that. Uh, we have investors that have been with the company for five, six, seven years. And uh, so they, they, once we start demonstrating success with the drilling programs, I think we can expect to see uh, uh, an appreciation in the share price. Ken, is there anything else you want to tell investors uh, today about your story? I think uh, one important factor would be the, uh, the quality of the exploration team. Okay. As under the direction of Mel Herdrick, who is uh, a, just a legendary geologist in Mexico and in the United States as well, formerly uh, the head of exploration Mexico for Phelps Dodge. He was also the head of exploration for Pediment Gold from 2005 to 2011. And Mel was, a, was the, uh, the, the, the geologist that actually found the the properties that it developed into producing mines for pediment gold, or they were developed to the point where they were um, a proven resource, and the company was acquired by Argonaut Gold in 2011. And Argonaut has put two of these properties into production. So he's got a really good track record, a history of, of exploration, a history of, of production. And uh, so we're very satisfied that uh, Mel will be able to assist us in developing the resources for Sonora Metals. Well, the three things I like to look for are jockeys, location, and grade, and it sounds like you've got all three covered pretty well. So. I believe we do. I believe. Sounds like an exciting story to follow moving forward. 
Thank you. Thanks, Kat. You're very welcome. Thank you.